Hey guys, Chris and MLC, welcome back to the channel. Now this video is gonna be sort of a show and tell for something I built. I was contacted by a fella and he asked if I could build him a hydraulic power unit for his trailer. So I sat down last weekend with a Fusion 360 and I drew one. Now what we have is a 22 horsepower motor, 25 gallon tank, 7.9 gallon per minute gear driven pump and it's right here. From Fusion 360 to reality. I built the tank, the frame, the roll cage assembly. Uh, obviously I ordered the fuel tank, the motor. I ordered that battery box. Then I had a local machine shop here, BNC Machine in Rensselaer, Indiana. They made all the hydraulic hoses for me. And it also has two 48 inch whips with wing couplers for hooking into the trailer. It's got 25 micron fluid filter on the return side. This is the return port. And then it's got like a little dipstick uh, uh, tube that goes down into here. Sort of help with the sloshing and aeration in there. Uh, suction port is over there. This is all three quarter inch pipe fittings with number 12 hoses everywhere. I said a 7.9 gallon per minute pump. The cage bolts onto the platform so you can remove it. I've got a lid right there I made for it. Predator uh, 22 horsepower, five gallon fuel tank, got a little fuel gauge. It's even got over tightening clicks and 25 gallon hydraulic reservoir I built. For the first one of its kind, I think it turned out really decent. The reservoir bolts to the platform. And you just remove, like I said, you remove the roll cage here with just these bolt there, bolt there, bolt down there, and a bolt down there. Now this main plate here, there's a, there's a couple more things I'm going to do to this on the next iteration. I want to do something a little differently here with the return. Um, it might get a little longer. I want to do a CNC bottom plate and then I'm going to do like a little, I'm going to look into getting a hose made for the engine to come out here, a little remote with a cap on it so you can remote drain oil. Decided to do satin black on the tank and I think the satin black and the gloss black together look really, really good. Now I set rib nuts into the upper part of the cage. I really wanted to do more video on this thing as I was building it, but I was sort of in a time crunch. We talked about like last Thursday and last Friday, she was finished up Wednesday. Uh, you won't see this video until probably Saturday or Sunday. Right, there we are. Lid on. I think the combination of the 
flat black and the gloss black just looks really really sharp it's got the tank is suspended here from the roll cage little straps I formed out of eighth by one so not bad I'm also thinking about going to a larger filler this is a three-quarter MPT this is the uh, breather it's a breeze plug it's the one I bought this from McMaster car uh, I'm gonna see if I can just go to a bigger bigger fill or I might just put another port in here and just for filling then leave this one just for a breather but we will see